You know what I want to talk about? Do you know what the fuck I want to talk about? That's right, you read that title, you know what it's about. A review on a movie that I should have done a while back. Street Fighter, The Legend of Chung Li. Let me break it down for you. Street Fighter, since I was a youngin, a young boy back in what, 8th, 7th grade when the Street Fighter series started becoming popular, it has been one of my favorite video game slash anime franchises out there. Okay, I mean the characters were great. Great character development, great side stories to them. Street Fighter has always been kick, has always been kick ass. It's always been bad motherfucking sister fucking ass. Okay, it's always been badass. All right. Um, this movie came out, Legend of Chun Li. I'm gonna say this that it was at least slightly better than that piece of shit with John Claude Van Damme and Raul Julia. That one just really sucked. Monkey balls. Okay, it literally sucked. Huge pair, sweaty monkey balls. Kristen Crook, okay, an actress, pretty cute, played Chung Lee. Um, I will say that, you know, she wasn't that bad of an actress. You know, there was a lot of mixed reviews on her acting, but she wasn't that bad. You know, she's a cute piece of ass, but Chung Lee's supposed to be Chinese, by the way. Chung Lee is Chinese. They got this uh, chick, I don't know, what, what's her origin anyway? Canadian, I heard? Kristen Crook or something? Well, whatever. Anyways, she... Her image, the way she fit Chung Lee was okay, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't that bad. But, come on, Hollywood, come on. Could have gotten at least someone better. Vega was in the movie. The fight scene that Chung Lee had with Vega, it wasn't that bad, but... Vega, he had more like a modern look to him, you know? Kind of like the new Spider-Man 2000, I think. Uh, Captain America coming back to life. If you people heard about that, Captain America is not going to be back from the dead in the comic books. Oof, that's crazy. That's dope, though. That's fresh. But last I checked, wasn't Vega supposed to be from Spain or something? I mean, this guy that played Vega, I mean, he didn't look like a Spaniard. Anyways, the Vega guy, he was okay. So, so. Bison fucking sucked. Neil McDonald, however the fuck you pronounce his name. Let me show you what a bison looks like. Right here. That's a fucking bison. Now look at the guy that was playing bison. Does that look like a fucking bison to you? That looks nothing like a fucking bison. Nothing like him at all. So Neil, Neil McDonald, you as bison, sorry. Uh, even though you're a good actor, you sucked as bison, okay? Epic failure for you. Nash, played by Chris Klein. That's where all this shit down so I can remember it. Nash, played by Chris Klein. Dude, let me say something. Nash, um, I get confused, Nash. People used to think that, that Blanca used to be Nash. But Nash is really, uh, Charlie, isn't it Charlie Nash? You know, Giles, a uh, buddy with the big green army vest in the Alpha series with the, with the, uh, cool, fa, fa, uh, Fozzie looking hair or whatever the fuck, with the blonde hair. The guy looked nothing like Nash. I mean, Nash, they, very poor choice to, uh, to play Nash, Chris Klein, you know? Who else? Uh, the Bison Chung Lee fight was okay, you know? I mean, just seeing Bison fighting his stupid suit, it just didn't give it that look. I wanted to see Bison in this traditional uh, red communist looking outfit. You know, with the big shoulder pads. You know, Psycho Crusher. You know, Psycho Kick or whatever. Hyper Crusher. Psycho, Psycho Crusher. There you go. Um, the movie, the point of the movie is that Bison's goal is to instigate a wave of violence in the slums of Bangkok and shit like that. I really wasn't paying too much, too much attention to the movie because eh, it really wasn't catching my interest. It was slightly better than that fucking Dragon Ball uh, Evolution piece of shit. You know, with Justin Chatwin. Uh, I'm Geeko. Huh, yeah, I'm Geeko. Um, Gen was in it. Gen, the guy, he used to, he used to play, uh, he played, the, what the fuck, the, the guy from Mortal Kombat, Liu Kang, I think. Gen, I guess that was a younger version of Gen, Gen, whatever you want to call him. You know, he's Chung Li's teacher with the He's a, well in the video game. He's supposed to have the heavy gray beard and mustache and shit. But Gen in the movie, it was okay, o okay choice. I guess that was supposed to be Gen in his younger years or something. But nonetheless, that guy's a good actor. The one that played the one that played Gen, he's been in a bunch of uh, martial arts movies. Um, what else can I say about this movie? Yeah, I give this movie a three 
out of 10. Okay, excuse me. 3 out of 10. Remember, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Evolution got 1 out of 10. So the Chun-Li movie, if you want to go see it, it's a worth a rental. That's about it. You know, Capcom, can we stop with these Street Fighter live action movies? They're just not working out. If people want to see some good Street Fighter action, get the Street Fighter 2 Victory Series, okay? It's an anime series. It's like 29 to 30 episodes. Just for an animation, Japanese animation. Great fight scenes, great storytelling, great character development. Seen Ryu and Ken in, in their uh, teen years. Develop their Hadouken. Go around the world challenging all these, all the famous Street Fighter characters like Sagat, Balrog, and all, all those guys. And then Bison, Dao Sin, just, just great storyline. You can get the DVD set, all 29 episodes for like $40. It's not that bad. That's all I got to say about this movie. Spinning bird kick. <laughs> yep. You know, I used to like Chun. I used to uh, have a, I don't know, crush on a video game character, Chun Li. Can you believe it? You know, back then when you're young and shit like that. You know, back then, Chun Li, she made a name for women in the video game world. Because back then, you know, video games, video games were dominated mostly by big, strong, typical male characters. You know, then we started seeing more females, and that's what's up. Anyways, check out this uh, little commercial from an old um, Japanese uh, TV spot of Chun Li and Bison. The the people that play Chun Li and Bison in this commercial from the Super Nintendo uh, Turbo Street Street Fighter Turbo uh, uh, game. The people that played the fucking actors and actress in this just fit, just resemble Chun Li and Bison just perfectly. I mean, I was amazed. That's it for this uh, Street Fighter movie review. Like I said, <laughs> Justin Chatwin, <laughs> you still suck. <laughs> Geeko. <laughs> oh! Fighter 2 Turbo Super Famicom de Shin Hatsumai Capcom